The weekly Coaches News Conference on KLPS TV is brought to you by Hawthorne Bank, a proud sponsor of Liberty School District. At Hawthorne Bank, we understand the importance of strong community in a strong school district. We also understand the importance of strong financial future for our school district's families and for our local businesses. Hawthorne Bank, with you every step. And by Jackson Hewitt. For all your tax needs, personal or business, rely on tax professionals at Jackson Hewitt and Liberty. A full service tax preparation professional. Jackson Hewitt. Good morning. Um, thanks for coming in. I, uh, glad that, that we're talking about us continuing to play. Um, we're, we're very fortunate that we're um, one of four teams left in our classification heading down to Columbia uh, this week. Um, we, uh, we played well on, on Wednesday last week um, against the number one ranked team in the state in St. Joe Lafayette at Staley High School team that um, it's a really good team. Uh, really, really good team, really well coached. Um, and the people who I've heard from um, have said they thought it was one of the better high school games that they've seen. And um, as I kind of step back and don't get so immersed in the fact that I was coaching the, the, the game and our team, I realized it probably was. It was a really, really well played game against two good teams. Um, and luckily we were able to find six more points um, and come away with a win. And then on Saturday, um, we went to the Independence Event Center to play um, Grandview, who, um, you know, this is in our three years um, of our program now, we've played them eight times. So um, this was the eighth time that we've played them, the sixth in the past two years. And uh, quite a bit was at stake, just the same as it was last year, same teams matched up. And um, fortunately for us, it was the same result. Uh, we were able to find a way to get a win. We pulled away late, did a really nice job late. Um, you guys really made some plays down the stretch, showed some experience, and um, and I think that um, you know these guys deserve it. Um, they absolutely deserve it, and we're thrilled with the opportunity to go down. Um, you know, I'd be lying to you if I didn't say that. You know, it's a little different feeling than it was last year. You know, we uh, we're excited that we're going certainly, but um, we still have some work that we need to get done. So um, we will we will have great focus to us. We'll have a great preparation. Um, our staff's been working working a lot the past couple days um, since we won Sunday and Monday. So try to get our guys, put them in the best position we can, and hey, see where the chips fall. But we like our guys a lot, and uh, we're, we're incredibly thankful for the opportunity. So with that, I'll open it up to questions. What can you use from last year's team moving forward into this year's playoffs? I think there's a huge point of reference from last year's team. You know, the, the deal is when you go down there to Columbia, everything is different. Um, you know, you guys are you're staying in a hotel, the arena, you know, our place is immaculate at North, but you know we seat 2,200 people. That place seats 14,000 people. It's a different shooting. I mean, there's there's so many things that are so different about it, except for the game. The game's the same. And I think what happened last year is there was some time where um, not only did we play the best team in the state, and a team I think could have beat the Chicago Bulls from the mid 90s, but they. Uh, um, you know, it's just it, the, everything is different. It just takes some adjustment, and um, hopefully, we have a good point of reference that, you know, yeah, all this stuff's different and all this stuff's great and exciting. But at the same time, like I told the team yesterday, I mean, you got to keep in mind the whole reason we're here. You know, the whole reason we're here is if we play 32 minutes of good basketball, you get a chance to play for a state championship, and. You know, all you want is an opportunity. We've got that opportunity, and now let's hope that we can make the most of it. And I think having that point of reference, just going through all those things that are just so different than a regular game, um, will certainly play into that. Is there anything specifically you'd like to improve before your game does come Yeah, um, you know, I think that there's there's room for growth in all areas of our game. 
but when we look at Thursday night and the opponent and what they do well and what we need to do, um, really, really well coached team that we're going to play, Republic. Um, really versatile, good guards that can shoot and a couple post players who are good around the basket. So when you say improve, you know, we got to improve in all areas the next couple of days, but then specific to game plan, we just need to make sure that we're executing the stuff that we install. We need to make sure that we're, you know, getting the ball into the guys who are scoring it for us. Brinkley's been terrific late. Um, and I think it's no secret, he's probably going to touch the ball quite a bit and he should. Um, but then make sure that we're balanced and guys are feeling confident that, that within the system of play, um, they know what they're doing. They know where their shots are coming from, who's open. Um, and we'll continue to refine that. And, and when we do that, I think that it'll hopefully give our guys some confidence. We did yesterday. We spent about 45 minutes on the floor going through some stuff. And today we'll, we'll practice again and then watch some tape on the Republic and get ready to go. Well, I think that it's a good question. I think we're similar teams. Um, I think that um, I'd like to think that that I like to think we're similar teams. I should say that because when I watch them on tape, I like them a lot. I like their team. Um, I like one how first of all, what stuff what jumped out to me is how hard they play. They play really, really hard. Um, and then the second thing that jumped out to me was how unselfish they play. They, uh, the, their numbers are really spread out as far as who can really score it for them. Um, and, and when you watch them on tape, they really pass up good shots for great shots. They run good stuff to get their guys in the right position. Um, the right guys are shooting the ball. Um, but I mean, you know, if, if, if people were asked to describe us, I'd like to think they say a team that plays really hard and plays unselfish. And if I had to describe the Republic team, I would say it's a team that plays really hard and really unselfish. Um, you know, and at this point in the year, you know, you hopefully you got your four best teams playing. And uh, I certainly think they're one of the four best in the state. How are you trying to keep your guys uh, clear-headed with the big one? Uh, you, know, you know, every once in a while you might need to yell at them a little bit and make sure that they're paying attention, but um, we got a really good group, so we got a group that's pretty mature about it. And um, it was weird because certainly we were excited Saturday. Um, we, you know, we took some time to celebrate, but you know, it, it had the feeling of okay, this is this is a good accomplishment, but we still have more to do. And Monday's practice yesterday just was another practice. You know, make sure that we're doing what we need to, what we've been doing for for the last you know three plus years, and and um, these guys, you don't have to. I don't have to stay on top of these guys like maybe some other teams would, thinking that they're really good. They understand. They've got a healthy respect for the game. They've got a healthy respect for their opponent, and understand that if we don't play well, we can get blown out. I mean, heck, guys, we went down there last year. And any time you have as many turnovers as you do points in a game, you ain't going to win. And we had 25 turnovers and 25 points. And um, the good news is we won our third place game. The bad news is we had 22 turnovers then. So I'm not so sure we didn't set the state record for turnovers at the Final Four last year. Um, so we're hoping we don't eclipse that record this year. Um, but we, uh, we don't have to worry too much about these guys not being focused. I'll, I'll make sure that we're focused and ready to go, and we got a good group to help with him. How does a large turnout from North Nation affect your team's morale? You know, before the game, um, well, first of all, I mean, it's just our fans are just incredible. I mean, just, just incredible. Our students have for for three years just rallied around these guys and. I um, I was talking to Grandview's coach before the game, and we were talking. And he was kind of looking around, and he said, "Did the entire town of Liberty come?" And I just kind of smiled and said, ah, "I know about half of them, but I think the you know." And he, he kind of smirks, but I think all of our students came. <laughs> um, and it's just so neat to see you know all the gold and and stuff that people are wearing, and um, you know if you if you put yourself in in our guys' shoes, how could you not be excited? 
how could you not have motivation to play for that? Uh, there's so many people that are behind us. Uh, there's so many people that support us that, um, you know, we talk to our guys all the time. You don't want to let those people down. Um, you want to you wanna make those people proud, you know? I mean, that's why I work. That's why I do things is try to, you know, help others and, and make people proud of, of the work you do. And, and our guys have, have taken that. And um, there's, there's a lot to be said for how much of an advantage it is that when you walk into a place, the I mean, heck, what was it on Saturday? There had to be 85% was gold, you know, and, and that's, that's an advantage. That's intimidating for an opponent, and it's, it's certainly comforting and relaxing for, for us. And, you know, we'll, we'll have T-shirts available this week, and, you know, there's a spirit bus that's going down that I hope we're going to get, you know, filled up. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a great deal. You get... You get a ride to Columbia, you get a game ticket, and you get a t-shirt for 15 bucks. I mean, heck, you can't buy a t-shirt for 15 bucks anymore. So, um, you know, it's a pretty good deal, and I think that our students are excited about it. And Heck, you get to school a little bit early, so, I mean, that's got to be incentive enough to go, right? Uh, but they, uh, our, our students and our fans have just been incredible. Just been incredible. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I can. Um, we, Price Chopper um, has been uh, generous enough to donate, um, if we can get four buses full of students, um, which I think we can, um, has been generous enough to donate ice cream for our entire school. Who doesn't love some free ice cream? So um, they would do that on the Monday we get back from spring break. Um, but the, the price chopper ride to state would be that um, we, the $15 would get you on the bus, which would leave at about 2 o'clock on Thursday. Um, so, yes, you get out of school early, like I said. You get a T-shirt uh, that normally is 10 bucks. You get a game ticket, which is normally $8. And um, obviously the ride to and from, which... Um, saves quite a bit of gas money and um, you know it's just it's, it's, it's an easy way to do it I think it's great and I you know I don't know how you guys envision it but, but I think it's pretty cool that when you get to the game and you know the stands are you know because there'll be some parents that come down early and there'll be certainly you know a group of people that come over to the game and there'll be some gold in the stands but I don't think there's anything cooler if I'm an opponent, I probably don't think there's anything more intimidating than, you know, there's no students in our section, and then all of a sudden, within about 30 minutes, we got about 800 students in our section because the buses show up and everybody just starts filing out. So um, it's a great deal. You can sign up in our athletic office um, with Ms. Kalura. have to do that by 3 p.m. on Wednesday to make sure that we get the, um, get the necessary numbers and T-shirts and tickets and everything accounted for. Um, but but I do think it's a great deal and, and hey we're getting on a big yellow bus and going down so why don't you guys just come on with us on Thursday um, with that wrap it up I hope that we'll see y'all um, this week uh, it's really exciting for for our guys I know how much um, it means to our guys the support that they get from you all from their from their peers from their friends um, from their fans and so we're we're thrilled. Um, we're excited to be down there. And um, like I keep telling the team, we've we got to remember why we're there. Uh, we will. And uh, we'll certainly play hard and, and try to make you all proud and uh, hopefully come back and have quite a celebration on Saturday night. So uh, thank you all and look forward to seeing you on Thursday. The weekly Coaches News Conference on KLPS TV is brought to you by Hawthorne Bank, a proud sponsor of Liberty School District. At Hawthorne Bank, we understand the importance of strong community in a strong school district. We also understand the importance of strong financial future for our school district's families and for our local businesses. Hawthorne Bank, with you every step. And by Jackson Hewitt. For all your tax needs, personal or business, rely on tax professionals at Jackson Hewitt and Liberty, a full-service tax preparation professional. Jackson Hewitt.